thing I know about this show has flipped on its head again because Admin D probably is not the Demon Lord. And now we're about to get the Demon Lord versus Wakaba, I think, because the Demon Lord's like, oh shit, what is this little thing doing to my queen Tartek, right? Because she's like the origin Tartek. But like, I don't know. Heresy magic can apparently affect the soul. So our immortality doesn't mean shit in the face of heresy magic. But we also do know that most likely Wakaba is going to turn into the 10th squadron, you know, troop. But they're fighting right now with the Demon Lord. How is this all going to resolve itself? Let's find out today's reaction. Shark? Magic. Remember how Wakaba just casually just killed a, like a sea monster last episode while she was just a floating head? Huh? Threshold! Threshold hit! That's the soundtrack for the threshold anyways. Alright, we're back! Don't talk too quick though, because the demon lord's coming for your ass. She has a new form now, huh? Got the pink... No, they're not gonna feed you. Well, actually, you could probably feed on the humans, but like, if the humans see a spider coming at them, I feel like they're gonna be all terrified. Wakaba thinks like the humans are gonna be nice to them. They're not gonna be nice, right? They'd be terrified. Exactly. Vampire again. Same carriage. Baby bloodsucker's carrots. Man, I can't believe we're like doing like bodyguard work for the vampire, but like the vampire is probably evil. So like all these people trying to assassinate the baby and shit, I feel like we should let them do it for the sake of, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know who's good or bad, but you know, Wakaba's like saving her over and over again, but I'm not sure if we should be doing it. CGI, CJ horse and carriage. Okay, the vampires are home. Sent by the goddess, a divine beast? No, not really. No, I don't think so. A cursed beast, maybe? No, not me! Hey, it's this voice actor! I love this voice actor. Okay, they're gonna do research on Wakaba, even though we saved them. Who's the vampire here, the mom or the dad? Three moons. What's she staring at, baby? Spooky. Still is like 16 years old mentality as a baby, right? Damn it, I can't even call this baby fucking bald. What the fuck? Why does the baby have hair? I was gonna yell bald at it. Yeah, Spooky remembers everything. The mom's genetics are kind of cracked though, yeah. Nobles, but mom is vampire, dad's not? What is this, half vampire? I mean, they can sit outside in the sun instead, in, in, even though they're vampires. Aww. This backstory is so nice so far. Until that day, what day? Is it that day today? Uh, uh, alliance with Renzak, the Empire, Whole Kingdom of Alias. Okay, there's more diplomacy in different factions, and we got they're at odds against each other. Wars coming? Word of God. Are you suggesting the Word of God? They're manipulating Oats and Sariel into a war. So the church is intentionally puppeteering and like making people infight? Okay. To them, the people that's fighting, the worship of the goddess is heresy. Church is bad to them, based. I don't really understand either. I'm trying. So the word of God church, which Yuri side, right? The people that says no to taboo magic because they don't want us to know the truth is picking a fight with us. Church is after us. Yeah, skill up! Skill up, right? Raising your skill level so you can hear the word of God. Can Yuri hear the word of God yet? I wonder. What skill do you need for that? As in, you leveled up. Wait! Voice that sounds like it's appraisal. But, but, oh. Remember last episode too? We had the appraisal girl that was like locked up in some place saying, Threshold met, threshold met, threshold met. It hurts. 
So they're trying to hear the word of God, but that hearing of word of God is the you leveled up threshold met that Wakaba has been hearing this entire time. So Wakaba has the word of God already. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, it's just because, so, you know, she is comparing it to that voice from a video game. I don't know. She's just saying as in the you leveled up. It's just an example, but okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. We're under attack again. This is the day that Wakaba saves, right? This is a repeat? This is a repeat, right? Bald! Yeah, this is the Wakaba one, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The fateful encounter. Looks fucking terrifying from their perspective, huh? You're a monster too, don't you know, little baby? What if Wakaba's like in the house right now? Sophia's very scared of Wakaba, huh? Wakaba built my home! I am back to the presence. Yo! Giga Chad guide! He's a dragon slayer, by the way. You can straight up just claim that he's a dragon slayer now. No, get the fuck out of my face, kid. You are not washed up. You're a fucking legendary retired adventurer. But yeah, based. Fuck you, Shin. You're crazy. I don't like you. Bye. I'm trying to live. I like this old guy, though. His voice actor is actually epic, too. Oh. Okay, Elf Village, but we sh Oh, CGI. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to Sariela first. Fuck. We're going to do a little uh, detour? Skill up! Skill up! Okay, the Megami had white wing. Faye could be known as the goddess's dragon. So we're about to enter a, a place of just religious nutjobs, huh? Basically, it's just an entire cult village, Sariela. Everybody is going to be like, Yuri, everybody, as soon as we enter, it's just going to be like, Skill up! Skill up! Skill up! Do you have taboo? Does anybody have taboo here? Okay. Wait, 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 this is really important. Wait, 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 this is really important. Wait, 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 wait. The goddess's faith believes that if you offer your skills to the goddess, you'll be saved. So this is different from the word of God. So there's two different religious sub-factions. The goddess's faith, that's one faction, where you give up your skills and you'll be saved. And then the other one, the followers of the word, the word of God, where we need the skills to get saved. Okay. One is basically give away the followers of God and basically the word of God saying, please, I want to hear your voice. Let me skill up, skill up. Interesting. Even in the religious group, there's two things. The skill elimination is what Okachan used to Hugo, right? It's believed that the lost skills are offered to the goddess's strength. Really? Is that what happens? When Okachan took away Hugo's skills, did it really get sent to the goddess? Does Okachan even believe this shit? Does that mean she's a follower of God instead of word of God? It's weird enough that skills exist at all because the skills are due to the system that Admin D proposed onto this world, right? Okay, they're at odds at against each other. It's like a holy war, basically. Okay. You think Yuri is here? Basically, we're not going to be pausing. I mean, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we are pausing. Basically, we're not going to be laying low. <laughs> 
you ever like get off your bus stop or off of your like train station and like or, or like in the middle like uh about to go to the mall some like public space downtown and there's a guy on a fucking podium going you need the word of christ or you're gonna go to hell buy my t-shirt that says jesus or you're gonna go to hell there's no redemption for any of you just a bunch of yuris Wait, wait, what? Who's working with Hugo? Looks like we can't turn to, to the goddess, Faith, the one that we give up the skills, beca just because followers of the word are working with Hugo. Because... Why? I don't know. But okay, followers of the word were working with Hugo. Because vampire is... Vamp is vampire followers of the word side? I don't know. Okay, but Hugo is followers of the word. Okay. Pontiff of the followers of the ward, Dustin is on. Oh, right, right, right. The Dustin guy. The Dustin guy. Because Hugo has like... Ah. Does Hugo really have lust? Right? Didn't they say like lust is what's used to like control people? Manipulate them? I forget. <laughs> followers of the ward declared Hugo to be god last episode. Sorry, hero. Who is this? We met this kid? Have you ever met him before, Shun? This kid? This kid or the old man? The fuck? Since when? Okay. What the fuck? All right. Uh. Eh? Shun flashback? Church? Archbishop? Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, uh, uh. You know he diddles the little boys. Yeah. Predator. Predator. Is he really brainwashed though? Is he really? Or is he just a piece of shit from the beginning? I don't know. This town is scary as fuck. This town low-key reminds you of... Remember Konosuba? Remember when we went to the Axis, you know, town? Where basically everyone worships Aqua? <gasps> Please join the Axis cult! Everybody, you know? <laughs> but that was funny. That was like funny com comedic cult town. This is like scary dangerous cult town, you know? <laughs> Yeah, we, we gotta go against the churches, man. There you go. Dustin control by Hugo. Bald! Bald! You thought that a month. Bald! 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 No! Baldy here is copied twice! Over here? The, does he see this Baldy right over here? His fucking little. With the little buns around the side? This guy's copying the far right side, dude! Or f Ah, you fucking copy-pasting m- Dude, the girls are moaning over Pontiff Dustin! Oh, Pontiff Dustin spoken! <laughs> Listen to this, dude! You know. Why are the girls so down bad for this fucking 80-year-old geezer? See, let's see what Hugo can do for us. I don't think Dustin is under control, dude. No, I think Dustin was always evil and wicked. I think Dustin might be the one controlling Hugo, dude. Okay, flashback past Sophia's house. I think so, maybe? Oi, oi. Okay, they're raiding her house. I wonder who's sending all these people, huh? Wakaba. Wakaba's gotta save them again, right? Uh-oh. Huh? Wait! They're all just dying! Wakaba, 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 Wakaba! Tell us goodbye! OP, dude! She's sniping him! She's straight up sniping him! The telescopic eye that evolved! That, that's his crack! Yeah. <laughs> I love how she just narrates that. <laughs> Sometimes I scare myself too. <laughs> She's kind of tuny right now. Soga King! What are you gonna do with the corpses? Go eat the humans. Oh, we mark somebody? He's running back to HQ? Elf! Elves were after! Oh! Dude, his tracking is OP, man. Alright. Nah, the elves here are pretty shady, man. Yeah. 
They're corrupted elves. After Spooky? To kill the baby? Maybe the parents are super political, important people? Demon Lord. She's stuck in the great because she's with mom right now. What happened? What was the last time? I forget actually. I forget, but she's in the bottom labyrinth right now, bottom layer. I thought we we're gonna find on the beach. What do you mean practice loafing around? Just gonna use your new hammock? Okay. Got a nice hammock. Past, present? Pontimos. Pontimos, right? So this is the past because Pontimos is dead in the present. I'm going to get involved personally. Pontimas. <laughs> okay. Hmm. One of Ariel's blood. Okay. You motherfuckers. I swear to God. They have not said Ariel until now. And you guys have been spamming Ariel, 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 Ariel in chat. I don't think I've ever seen the show say Ariel. Did they? Did they? Which episode? Which episode was it? Can you prove it? Did they? Did they? So you tell me. I've been just ignoring chat this entire time saying, Ariel? Who's, who's Ariel? Okay. All right. She's Ariel. So Ariel is like basically, you know, a name. Like, for example, Hugo, his name is not Hugo. You know, it's actually something else. So like Ariel. Wonder what her real name is. Admin D. That's her real name. It's not Admin D though. No, that 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 theory's gone. No, it's that the theory's gone. That theory's gone. I don't even know who the fuck she is, man. He, Dustin, and our Dustin's a pretty important player, man. Maybe I've been underestimating Dustin. His latest expansion skin. Dustin's gotta be aware of it. It's like a three-way war with a spider! You're already infiltrated! Don't step on it! Don't step on it! <gasps> Honestly, I don't even know if I want to be on Potimas' side. I definitely don't want to be on Dustin's side. Potimas is... Meh. I don't know. I don't really like him. I like Ariel. She's high. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. And we're back. What did you just say? I'm gonna make bandits into a protected species? I'm gonna cunt so many bandits, they'll be a protected species. But we're gonna make the bandits go. No, we're gonna make the elves go extinct. They're worshiping. Skill up! Skill up! Skill up! <laughs> Deserve. He was give more EXP. Yeah, there's gotta be some other because those weren't elves bandits, right? There's many different bandits, right? Exposed! The foreign spies were undercover as bandits, another light novel title. Dustin? Wakaba. Oh, he's aware, he's aware. But does he know that the Lightmare of the Labyrinth is a... Uh, it's probably a creature under Ariel's... Summit. Well, it, is Wakaba under Ariel's influence? I feel like we're trying to like leave home and just do our own thing independently. But I guess it, inevitably we would be under her influence because she is like grandma, right? Also, oh, Ariel Sama? What does that mean? Ariel Sama? Arya Sama? Sama? Why does Dustin praise Arya So when I was hearing Potimus say that he's gonna have to fight Dustin and Ariel at once, or saying that he doesn't want that, I thought that it was gonna be like a free-for-all. But I guess they're combined. Dustin and Ariel are together? Dustin worships Ariel? Ariel is above Dustin? But I thought that we're trying to like... We're going against the church, but what the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Why? I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, he says Ariel Sama is not my only concern, as in like, he's forced to like obey her. I don't think they're on good terms, right? It's just that he's her bitch right now, and if he wanted to have his own way, he'd do something else. Slave trading? Slave trading ring, okay. Dude! 
These elves are not just bandits. They're doing human trafficking slavery. Bro, these elves in this show are fucking demons. Potimas, Potimas what the fuck? I don't see, don't feel bad. He dies. Kill the elf. Genocide. This has to do with the vampires though, right? He's looking for specific children. Sounds incredibly sus, but basically very powerful children. Sounds very sus. This sounds really weird right now. Pultimas just wants Sophia, right? Because he sees the potential in the baby and wants to just kidnap it. <laughs> and then have an army? Have an army of babies? <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know. All right, got a sec. Because again, um, so, so, so again, sorry. Dustin is word of God, right? Dustin is word of God. And when he says eliminate goddess sect, that's the followers of God, right? Right? Goddess of sect is followers of God, or is this a completely different faction? What the fuck is the goddess sect? Because I know followers of God and the word of God. But then you can't just throw in this goddess all of a sudden. What, what is a goddess sect? Goddess sect is basically um, followers of God, right? And, put, and, and Dustin is word of God. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Mm, he wants them to crush each other. Bro, is Ayano Koji? Holy war. Quite ironic, considering it's the same goddess we worship. Do you think, like, this is just made up? They worship the same goddess, but they have different, like, understandings of the religion. One is saying, we must skill up and hear the word of the goddess. The other is like, no, we must no skill and give their skills to the goddess. So it's like a made-up holy war. By Dustin? By Dustin? Or by Ariel? I don't know. It seems like there's actual puppeteers, right? That's just like, all right, you fucking monkeys. Y'all worship the same fucking goddess, but you're going to fight amongst yourselves. We're going to fucking divide you. We're just going to start a fire and make you fucking fight amongst yourselves. Why? But, uh, I don't know anymore. I, but basically, that's what they're doing, right? <laughs> Wait, look at that drawing. It's Wakama, dude. Look, look, look. <laughs> it does look like her, though. It's pretty good. That's a better representation of what Wakaba looks like compared to the Wakaba that we see with the cute little fucking anime eyes. Yeah, the spider. Spider bodyguard. Shouldn't she be a little bit happier? They got a divine beast protection? Exactly, the nightmare. That's right! Maybe. Beyond S rank now, maybe. Mm -hmm. You can, you can! But like, Wakaba just... They can, he, Wakaba can understand humans? I'm not really sure, but basically when Wakaba was talking, remember? From the perspective of the humans, she just going like... Aah! And he was like, what the fuck is going on? Do you think you'd be able to reason with the No, you cannot reason with them. You can't. They're fucking insane nutjobs. No! <laughs> See, even the father was like... Fuck no! Honorable but sinister. Huh? The nightmare is healing the deathly ill. What a problem. Yo! I'm just starting to realize at this rate, won't Wakaba be like a central figure? That, like, and the mom is handing out the divine beast. Are we gonna literally be their savior? Like, this seems to be their own little separate faction, right? That's caught up in this. Wakaba will literally make this place like a sovereign state and have them under her protection and she'll like rule over them or some shit. But yeah, the mom is great. Divine Beast, look, look. They should worship Wakaba instead. They should just worship the Divine Beast instead of a goddess here, man. <laughs> Create your own religion. Wait. Spiders are considered sacred? Why? Spiders are sacred beings in this world? The goddess used to have a spider servant known as... Th That's why she kept saying divine beast. 
it has to do with Ariel somehow. I don't know, but this is like a tarot tech. A long time ago, the goddess had like a a, a familiar servant, right? A tarot tech, maybe. Ariel has a divine beast title. Oh shit! There it is. I remember a certain demon lord having the title ancient divine beast. Fuck, because she is the goddesses. But it's the it's the same goddess that people worship. It's the same goddess that people worship. Ariel had connection to the goddess. She served her. But now. Ariel's made Dustin her bitch. And Dustin, religion, they all worship. Is Ariel making them fight amongst each other? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> CGI Ariel again. <laughs> Grandma. Grandma wants to kill us. <laughs> oh. Please save my child. <laughs> People just come up to the stream with the spiders. Please save my son. I mean, it's gonna happen, but it's kind of crazy that people just come up to this fucking creepy looking spider in the tree. Help, help. You are the divine beast. Well, not yet, but. Hello. Liver cancer. Ugh. How can you say there's a fucking god? When a kid gets a liver cancer, like, how could you possibly say God exists? Now, nah, I don't want to get into the topic of atheism or religion. Foul feeder. Oh, he was eating probably because they're so poor. He's probably eating like shitty food or some shit. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. See how big Wakaba is? <laughs> the way to cure illnesses in anime is to get rid of the lines. See the lines in the mom right over here? And then in the kid's eye bags? Look at this shit, right? They're really gonna worship Wakaba at this rate, huh? Wow, an offering! I'm not sure if an apple for curing liver cancer is an equivalent trade, but they had, they're, they mean nice, right? They, they mean well. They're poor. post credit scene! Wait, she's, there's a lot of noise. Are they all approaching the Divine Beast? Please, Divine Beast, save us! I have a poor child, too! There's a fucking lineup now? <laughs> Please, my kid! My kid! <laughs> Dude, the cult of- Oh my god, that's a fucking huge line! The entire village has come to see us, dude! Holy- Yo, this is really interesting, huh? Our reputation! We're gonna really be just worshipped at this rate. And that's the episode. Another very interesting. Ve oh, wait. I guess this is a class reunion. See you next. Fucking Christ. Next episode's gonna be fucking insane, huh? All right, all right. But this episode, a little bit more of a backstory, right? On on like the vampire side, a little bit more understanding of like the holy war because like we were memeing on the church and stuff like that. But it's like how much of the church do we really know? So basically, there is two sub factions within the religious group, right? The Word of God. Skill up, skill up then you get to hear the word of God, like Yuri, right? And then there's the followers of God, right? Sorry, it's, yeah, the one that's basically give away the skills, right? So that the God will appraise it. Basically, they're both religious nut jobs, except they happen to worship the same goddess, which is really hilarious. It sounds like it's almost like these religions are just kind of made up to have conflict in order to divide the people so that you can have control over them. I'm not really sure, but usually in order to control like a huge population, the best way you can do is to make sure that the monkeys don't unite by causing causing like problems by yourself, right? You just basically cause like you 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 just you light shit on fire and you say, oh no, what happened? And you let the monkeys fight amongst themselves and you keep them divided and so they never unite. Kind of happens in the real world too. Basically, there's that happening. Uh, there's Potimas, there's fucking Dustin and Ariel who are like the central figures back in the past. There's still stuff with Sophia. And basically, Wakaba is now being heralded as like a divine beast. Because a long time ago, Ariel was a divine beast for the goddess. And now everyone's gonna worship her. And how is this gonna work out, right? It looks like at this rate, we'll just have like... We will be like the leader of this village. Like this entire village will be under our protection. And if so... Are we going to go at odds against the other places? I don't really know, but this is, you know, the world building is shaping up a next episode. We might be meeting the classmates, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.